Hi, welcome to the second part of our thyroid lecture. The first uh, part of the lecture talked about how the thyroid works and how we measure and test a thyroid function. Today we're going to talk about how we treat thyroid and specifically how we treat low thyroid or hypothyroidism. This is the most common uh, problem with the thyroid gland. It can be overactive, that's a whole separate topic, but today we're going to talk about when it's underactive. Now there is no controversy about treating truly low thyroid. When a TSH level, remember that's the thyroid hormone that stimulates the thyroid, when it's really revving up and it's above four, four and a half, there's really no argument. Pretty much any doctor is going to treat that because we all agree that that's low thyroid. Low thyroid can affect fertility in many different ways. Now where the controversy starts is when do we have enough of a low thyroid to be a problem? This is called borderline low, subclinical low, or sometimes it's called compensated hypothyroidism. And what to do in these borderline cases is much more controversial. Uh, the data suggests that when it's just borderline low, if a couple is trying to conceive naturally, which means that we're depending on the woman to ovulate on her own, depending on the man to make uh, his sperm levels on his own, they're not getting any help, it seems that low thyroid in the, in the borderline range can affect fertility. When we're doing a very uh, involved or uh, high-tech treatments involving in vitro fertilization where we're getting the eggs, we're getting the sperm, we're making the embryos, we're putting in it, them in at the perfect time, uh, there's really no good data that that affects uh, uh, fertility in those instances. Our attitude as reproductive endocrinologists, uh, uh, for the most part, is when we see a little bit of a thyroid problem, we treat it anyway. And our reason to treat it anyway uh, is based on a number of uh, concerns. First of all, the thyroid functions uh, fluctuate. They can fluctuate over the course of months. Thyroid function may be getting worse. So although we're getting a hint of a thyroid problem now, it's very possible that over the coming months or years it's going to get worse. So why not start treating it? Um, we want every advantage we can get when it comes to treating infertility. And sometimes when we fix a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this, the cumulative benefit is that of a successful pregnancy. So we're not going to uh, miss any opportunity uh, to boost fertility. The third reason is that the treatment of thyroid uh, or low thyroid uh, with medications uh, is very cheap and very safe. Uh, we've got a cheap medicine with very few side effects, is particularly if we're uh, monitoring treatment. So there's almost no good reason not to treat if it might be helpful. Uh, the next controversial uh, part of the treatment of low thyroid is what medicines do we use? Now the simplest, uh, cheapest, most common treatment, one that I generally start out with, is a medicine called levothyroxine. Um, the uh, uh, name brand of it is uh, called Synthroid. And when we take these pills, um, they get converted into active thyroid hormone. It's a simple pill. It's uh, taken once a day and generally results are pretty good. Uh, some people, however, just don't feel as good taking this pure levothyroxine medicine as they do taking another medicine that's called Armour or Nature Thyroid. Armour and Nature Thyroid are derived from uh, uh, pig sources usually. And the problem in the old days is the dose of these medications wasn't as well regulated, it wasn't as tightly controlled. Uh, those problems are pretty much uh, uh, behind us now and the doses are very consistent. Uh, these hormones contain both the T4 and the T3. Uh, some people, particularly if they're overweight or they're inflamed, are not converting all of their T4 into as, as much uh, T3 as they need. Uh, these people tend to feel better or can feel better uh, taking one of these uh, uh, animal-derived products. And if somebody comes to me taking these medicines and they feel great, I have no problem continuing it. If the pure levothyroxine isn't quite getting the job done, we'll try the Armour or the Nature Thyroid and sometimes that gives us the uh, benefits that we want. So those are the two general classes of medicines we use. There is a pure active thyroid hormone uh, and this gets very co complicated and we start dealing with people with uh, low amounts of iodine intake and, and whatnot. But in general, uh, basic levothyroxine or synthroid hormone is enough to treat most cases of uh, either borderline uh, low thyroid or truly uh, low or truly hypothyroid uh, conditions. So I hope that's interesting for you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching my video. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe.